Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to tackle a specific question today about Foot Birthday Team number two, which of course is going out of packs on Friday, but with a couple of pack supply SBCs probably coming today with UCL marquee matchups, we've got rewards coming also tonight, and then marquee matchups packs tomorrow. I want to take a look at before these cards go out of packs, when could be the best time to buy them? Because I know a lot of people want to get these cards in their teams. They want to buy them, put them in their teams if they can't pack them or whatever. Uh, because there's a lot of meta and fun cards as a part of this team too. I would argue that there's more of a desire for people to buy these cards for their team, uh, for team two, than there was for team one. So of course, with all of the daily SBCs done, now we're not sure if EA is going to drop some like icon content, whether that be an SBC, a repeatable upgrade SBC, icon player pick, we don't know the details about that, and that could impact these player prices for sure, which we'll talk about. But with rewards coming up, with UCL marquee matchups coming today, I do think there's a time frame and some things to talk about with these cards. Because just as we saw in last week, the lowest prices for these foot birthday cards was on Thursday, right? We'll take a look at some of these Team 1 cards as we're taking a price analysis of this Team 2. Now, some of these guys have dropped off a decent amount. Some of them are actually up, right? Tamori, 760, that is up. Modric at 381, that is up. Awar was 900K, 920s yesterday. He's now 980. Um, Atal has actually gone up post-price range, which is a GG. I think all of these cards, though, are going to drop today on Wednesday for sure. Because, again, UCL marquee matchups, people are going to open those packs. And, of course, what we saw last week with Team 1 as well is is a big time sell off actually into rewards. Some cards last week, some of the higher tier cards were actually their cheapest before rewards. There was more selling with the supply that dropped prices regardless and the people were selling these cards because they thought they were gonna drop further during the rewards pack supply. They actually hit their lowest before rewards. Now usually when that happens, it's really close to rewards. So it's kind of in that same time frame. But I think a couple cards from this team number two that are going to be great risers out of packs is going to be this Gunter card. I mean, I don't usually like to buy the lower tier cards from a promo team. I'm not somebody who likes to buy a bunch of a card for a cheaper price, but if that's something you like to do, I do think this Gunter is going to do very well. I think most of these cards will do pretty well. Most of the cards from Team 1 have done well. Of course, they've dropped off with some other circumstances, uh, but you've seen Sambia with the Lynx go up from like 85k or 80k flat to 126,000 coins. Um, now you've seen Hermoso go from like 175 to 221. Um, you know, there's been this, this uh, Ferland Mendy went from 850, 860,000 coins on Thursday, which you can see for a lot of these cards, Thursday was their lowest. And then they, of course, have risen up out of packs. So I think there's a lot of potential for a rise on these cards, especially with it looking like there's no promo coming from this next Friday. We'll find that out soon, though. So taking a look at a few of these cards, let's discuss the actual buy times, right? Because there's always a few time frames where we can look. Uh, like I mentioned, that supply that is coming today is probably going to cause an initial drop on a few of these full birthday players. Like it's the Adama Traore is chilling right around 1.3 mil. This guy was selling at 1.8 on the weekend. Unless we get some sort of icon, big time icon upgrade SBC, these cards are, look at this, Adama only has one page to 1.4 mil. This could be a card that gets sold off pre-rewards and then bounces big time after because this card has tons and tons of hype. So again, Today with the UCL marquee matchup supply, what you'll probably see is an initial start of a drop off with these cards and then people will start selling them as we get closer and closer to rewards. So what will probably happen is a little bit of a drop and then they continue following until that rewards time frame. Now, if there's insane content today like an Icon SBC or something crazy that people are going to be panic selling because of that content coming out, then you're going to see more of a, a quicker drop off and more panic selling kind of like right away, split second in the moment. Um, and you're going to see those prices dip like right away and probably maintain a pretty low amount where they're probably going to stay low until rewards. So regardless of what happens today, I do think you will see a lot of these cards drop. If you have any of them right now, like Awar is 980K, Atal is 830, I would probably ship those out, right? Because I think a lot of people are expecting them to drop at rewards. Now, you kind of talk about when is the best place going to be to buy. We've talked about pre-rewards. For some of those higher tier, if you see massive drop-offs and open bids um, with big undercuts, 
right before rewards, I don't think you have to be afraid of that, right? Like if you're able to get this Adama Trier for like 1.2 mil, that to me is really low because this could easily be a 1.4 plus mil card come post rewards into Thursday, maybe even Friday and into next week if the market allows it. So, you know, Awar is one that I look at as well. Atal has got all the hype. Focus on the ones that are the most hyped, right? I mean, we say that all the time. The hype is where the money is. But if you look at this stuff from team one, the hyped up cards are the ones that have maintained their value. Like Sonny last week, he's obviously dropped since then, but he went from like one, he was around like 1.02, I think around rewards or right before on that Thursday, he went up back over 1.1. There was a spot where he went to like 1.15 here on like the weekend. Uh, and then he's of course dropped back down with the big SBCs that have come out during for birthday. So, you know, I think most of these cards have the ability to rise out of packs. For the lower tier ones, uh, like Gunter, like Bernardeschi, and I would even say Paulinho, uh, and maybe even uh, Chan, Emre Chan, but especially this Gunter card during rewards is going to be the best spot to pick these up because these guys are going to get packed a decent amount. And this card right here has insane links, right? With that Royce SBC that is out, um, we don't have a really, really meta or pacey left back in the Bundesliga that is German. For those links, I think this card right here is going to be an. It's going to be similar to that Zambia. I really think this is going to be similar to that Zambia card. Now I don't know if he's going to get down to like eighty thousand coins. He might get down at a hundred k or below, which I think that's a possible price for this card. But I do think this will be one that rises post rewards and rises into the weekend if nothing crazy happens because this is a card that just gets it done for a lot of people. Right? He's got the pace. He's got good physical, good defending, and he's got five star skills. And he's got the insane link. So I think this card's going to be a really nice riser um, out of packs. But again, for that time frame, for the lower tier stuff, uh, Bernardeschi as well, five star, five star with the Serie A links, with the Juve links, or as they're now known as Piemonte Calcio links, I would 100% look at these cards during rewards. Kind of like we see with the current team league that is in packs, they usually get their cheapest during that rewards time frame. That's the time frame I'll be looking at these cards too, that first hour or two of rewards for the lower tier cards that are going to get supplied a lot that's the time you're going to want to look to pick up on some of those now also for the guys that are really really hyped this is why i was saying um last week we saw some prices act actually hit their lowest before rewards i mean look at this atal right now eight hundred and forty-five thousand coins this dude is hyped this is the one of the most hyped up cards that there is in this foot birthday team to promo and um I think that means there could be some potential. This could be a card that is potentially cheapest before rewards because it's not going to get packed that much. He's pretty rare on the market already, and so many people are going to want to buy him post rewards for their team. So, I mean, if you see this guy back in like the 760s or the 770s, potentially, this guy has so much hype. I mean, he might even not go. He might not even go that low. He might only go back down to 800k. We'll see. But I would 100% look to pick up on a card like this and maybe even like Sterling um, pre-rewards because I feel like most of your price drop is going to come from the panic selling that happens before rewards actually come out because like this Sterling card is really rare. And that's the point with a lot of these cards, right? Sterling only has legit seven cards on the market right now. Seven cards for Sterling in the entire PS4 market. Uh, that are that are out in the game. That's really, really, really rare. Adama Traore only has like three or four pages, I think, as well um, of his card. Three, two, two pages and two extra cards, right? I know it's not the heat of the daytime yet, and we're gonna have some more supply today, so they will get you know more supply on the market. But these cards are still very, very rare compared to Team One, and I think that bodes well for the potential rise out of packs, especially if you're trying to buy one of these, put it in your team play you know, some of the weekend league with it, maybe sell it on Saturday when it's high. I mean, I think that's a perfect scenario if you want to try out any one of these cards, unless EA drops something insane, um, that I think a lot of these cards are going to do very, very well because they're just so rare. And that's why I wanted to make this video too. And you know, if you weren't thinking about possibly trying to buy these during rewards or before rewards, I think there's a lot of cards in this team too that uh, people are going to want to buy for their teams. And they're more hyped than Team 1. Even, even like Ryan Kent. This dude's like, what, 700,000 coins? Um, now, Ken seems to be a little bit more supplied than some of the rest of them, at least from what I've seen. He's still, wow, never mind, two pages, what? That's crazy. Maybe my um, my market could be glitching out as well. But, I mean, these cards are rare, right? And that's, again, to me, yeah, okay, we were glitched out there. But that, to me, 
makes this investment or this um, potential buy scenario really good. And that's why I wanted to make this video again because I know a lot of you guys may want to try these guys for your team or you want to purely invest for uh, or buy these cards for an investment. I mean, look at how rare these cards are, man. It's nuts. It's nuts. So I know we're going to get some supply today. That is going to drop the prices and rewards is going to supply them a little bit more. But again, if you see massive, massive drop offs pre rewards, don't be afraid to get involved. And then possibly all these cards could go back up in a Thursday with marquee matchups coming out on Thursday. You might see a little bit of a dip, you know, a small dip in these cards. But by then, especially the rare ones, they're going to be up. The metal ones, they're going to be very up. People are going to be have bought them for their teams and they're just probably going to continue to rise into that nighttime time frame into Friday uh, and we'll see what kind of promo that we, we end up having on Friday if we have one at all. So a little bit of a shorter one today, but I wanted to make this video just talking about all things Foot Birthday Team 2, either buying them pre-rewards a couple hours before, during rewards with the supply, and then watching them rise after that, after people start buying their teams for Rivals games for the weekend league, and especially since it doesn't look like we have a promo as of right now. So if there's some sort of crazy icon SBC, of course, we'll have to reevaluate and say, hey, maybe all the panic that is caused when this SBC drops, um, that would make me think that there's possibly a better buy for those cards either right before rewards still, or maybe they drop so low in that panic selling, you know, if you see Sterling at like 1.35 million coins, like that's, that's a situation. So, you know, kind of using some of that market sense in there too, depending on the content that EA drops. So that's the video for today, boys. Again, if you did enjoy it, hit the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.